Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Francis with Find Homes by Francis, bringing you all the best that St. John's County has to offer. Now behind me is not a green screen. I'm actually on location at my favorite St. John's County beach. This is Volano Beach. Let me show you a little tour here. Look at those beautiful cliff rocks. I wish you could see the lighthouse off to the side. It is absolutely beautiful. And believe it or not, it is January here in Florida. It is a nice, warm 70 degrees. And I now, in this video, what we're going to be covering is the cost of living in St. Johns County. Now you see all this beauty. As you know, St. Johns County has one of the number one school districts in the state of Florida. Many families have been taking advantage of that, especially during this pandemic and relocating here to St. Johns County and making it home. So some of you may be wondering, but how much does it cost? So in this video, we're going to jump into how you can make this beautiful lifestyle yours and if it's within your budget. All right, so stay tuned to the end. Watch to the very end. Please do me a favor and push like and subscribe so we can get more of these videos out to you. So stay tuned, guys. All right, let's jump right into it as far as our housing prices first. As you know, nationwide, there has been a mass supply shortages of homes, supply shortages of builders being able to get construction materials. Even when I worked for a builder during the pandemic, we saw in one month a $20,000 increase in our prices just because um, of lumber shortages. So they had to pay $20,000 more per house just to get lumber. So nationwide, the supplies are harder to get. So the prices are going up because they're having to pay more for the same material. So here in St. Johns County, the average home price you had at least 400,000, okay? At least 400,000, that's gonna be the base, okay? Now for, for what people reach out to me most about, which is a four bedroom, two bath, 2,000 square feet, I would be prepared for the low 500,000s at minimum, okay? Low 400,000s, low 500,000s at the minimum, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, please also keep in mind for some people, um, closing costs and stuff is different per state. So we'll get it, I'll get into that in another video, but just remember on average, just be prepared for here in the state of Florida if you're buying a house and the builder is not, say, particularly offering closing costs, just know it's going to be about three, two to three percent of the sales price for your closing costs. So just want you to be financially prepared for that, okay? So let's get into rent, rent prices. Now, rent is the highest in, here in the state of Florida. We are kind of on like the national average right now because so many people have been migrating here to Florida. So here in St. John's County, rent prices for, say, a one bedroom, you're going to be looking about $1,600, okay? And for, say, an actual single family house, four bedroom, two bath, you're probably going to be looking closer to $2,500, okay? Or, or more depending on the location, okay? Now let's get into the taxes, property tax. Now as you know, your income tax, thank the Lord for Florida, okay? You don't have to worry about your income being taxed here, so you can keep all your money. But of course, if you own a home in this area, you will still have to pay property tax. So property tax here, if you take the sales price of the home times 1.2%, that will give you kind of an average of what you will be paying, okay? Granted, I'll leave the website below for the um, St. Johns County property appraiser so you can enter the address of the neighborhood to get a kind of better idea of the estimate, but that'll give you a roundabout. Most of my customers, they pay no more than 4,000 to 6,000 for say some of the, the larger homes that they may have, right? Okay, so um, for a good price. Also, other things that you have to keep in mind when it comes to um, buying a home here in St. Johns County, we have something here um, called CDD fees. So if you stay in a community like Shearwater and some of the other ones featured on my YouTube channel where they have luxury style amenities and it's a master plan community. Just know oftentimes many of those have what we call CDD fees. What that means is this community district development fee. I'll get into what that means later, but basically to develop all those amenities and to pay for the staff that runs those communities is a fee that's involved, okay? And it's broken down over, uh, you pay it every month um, is paid in your mortgage payment and it's about anywhere depending on the community and the amenities that it offers is anywhere from 180 to say 220 a month if it's more of a luxury community where they have luxury amenities golf course etc 
you know, lagoon style pools, then it may go in the upwards, say a $500 a month. Not every community here in St. Johns County has that CDD fee, but you should be aware that that could come with the cost of whether, especially if it's gated and it has a guard there every day of the year, then it's gonna come with a fee because someone has to pay the staff to maintain that community, all right? So we have sales tax, which is only 6.5% on whatever you purchase. Electric costs here. So electric, really good. For most of my customers, I checked in, I tried to survey everybody so I can get a real number for you, not just my personal numbers. So even with my families that have, say, five kids, et cetera, four, say, four people living in the house, I'll just say that, four to five people in the house, everyone was still under 150 a month for their electric, which I thought was really good. It looks like the sun is shifting, guys. So I'm going to make this fast. Okay, so electric was still under 150 even for larger families. Granted, most of my customers have newer homes that are no more than five years old, so they have the newer appliances. So that seems to help when you have the newer energy efficient appliances, okay? The things to keep in mind, Florida is what we call a no fault state. So what that means, I'm trying to find the sun, guys. <laughs> so Florida is a no fault state, meaning our car, when it comes to car insurance, we have something you have to have, it's called PIP, which is personal injury protection. So some people said their insurance went up when they moved to certain states because they from certain states because they didn't have to have PIP. But for the most part, most of my um, customers I surveyed, including myself, I pay no more than $130 a, a month. Granted, because I had a ticket. Don't tell anybody, I had a few tickets. Okay, but um, my customers from out of, that move here from out of state that I check with that have families of four, they said they're paying no more than $100 a driver to no more than $120 a driver for their car insurance. Now the health insurance kind of varied because everyone has a different employee. It seems like those that work for the state and for the government, their um, their car, their car, sorry, their health insurance was significantly less. Like back when I was a teacher for ever a dec decade or whatever, I paid no more than say a hundred, I think less than that, like seventy dollars a month, and I had the deluxe of the deluxe insurance, but most of it because the state was covering a lot of it. Okay. So for those that have regular employees, I've heard someone pay as high as $400 for a family of four to some paying six. To my dad and my stepmom, they pay no more than $200 a month with their employer, okay? So let's go, so let's go on gas. It's only $3, $3.20 a gallon here. Um, groceries, for the most part, most families said even of a family of four, they were spending no more than $500, $600, you know, depending on if you eat organic, whatever. Um, going out here, you're still going to be doing better than most places. You're, you're going to be hard pressed to find restaurants except for those of fine dining where you have entrees over $30 here. So you can really enjoy yourself um, for a good price. I thank you so much for staying tuned to the end. This is Francis with Fine Homes by Francis. I hope you found all this information on the average cost of living here in St. Johns County helpful. If you have specific questions, about the cost of living here, be sure to reach out to me. I'll put my website below as well as my phone number. You can reach out to me, text, call, uh, schedule an appointment on my website. I'm here to help and make sure that you have all the information you need to make an informed decision. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next video on the pros and cons of living in St. Augustine.